Yo guys, what's up? Engineering Aquariums, episode number nine. We're gonna be talking about biological filtration. Sean, your host here. Um, so we're gonna be going into uh, what it is, um, how to use it in your tank properly, um, things not to do with it, uh, things I would recommend against certain types of biological, um, and then certain ones that I'm using. Um, so to start off, uh, biological filtration is having surface area for bacteria to grow so that they can biologically, you know, uh, break down things in the nitrogen cycle, which we'll get into in a future video here. I know I said I was going to do general chemistry in the next video, but I'm having some, uh, technical difficulties with graphics, so I can't, can't really do those right now. Um, and it's really hard to understand the chemistry of this stuff without the graphics. Um, so it breaks down, it completes the nitrogen cycle in the perfect form of biological filtration. Um, perfect being has aerobic and anaerobic spots. Now, it's not confirmed 100%, but it's very, very, very well um, considered and practiced that um, in deep anaerobic parts of your tank, where there's a lot of surface area for those bacteria to grow, um, the last step of the nitrogen cycle is completed and nitrates go into nitrogen gas. Now, not everyone has those type of things in their tank. Uh, you need really either poor, I'm honestly, I don't want to say porous or dense rock because I've heard mixed stories about both of those, but you definitely want live rock. Uh, you probably want a lot of it. Um, bigger pieces is definitely better to get that anaerobic on the, the anaerobic bacteria on the inside. Um, they, they can't do with oxygen, so it's all stripped off by the bacteria in the outer portions of the rock. I mean, still like inside the rock, but not at the core of it. Um, and then the next form of it is the deep sand bed. Uh, the first, honestly, three inches is aerobic. And then the last, for me, an inch, but for anyone who has deeper than that, the rest of it is all anaerobic bacteria. Um, I mean, to a point where eventually they just won't find any um, nitrate um, but that's why I have bubbles in my um, sand bed and that's why shallow sand beds shouldn't have bubbles in their sand bed usually um, there are some rare cases or specific reasons why there might be uh, especially if you just put in like Dr. Tim's or something um, but mine are even after my Dr. Tim's um, cycle uh, it continues to have bubbles it'll bubble off during the day which actually raises my pH so I'm trying to figure out what exactly is bubbling off or why why it is, or maybe it's just because my it bubbles off when the lights are on and when the lights are on, the photosynthesis is happening in the corals. So it could just be a correlation, it might not be a causation. Um, but anyway, uh, deep sand beds um, will uh, have your anaerobic bacteria. Shallow sand beds will just have aerobic bacteria, but they will have the surface area for bacteria. Um, so unless you're running a lot of live rock or a massive sump with a remote deep sand bed or chemi pure blocks, which we'll get into in a second here, um, I'd recommend at least a little bit of sand. I know some people like their really nice, clean aquariums with the no sand on the bottom and they're, they're ripping current. And I can totally understand that. Um, if that's you and you're doing a bare bottom, you probably know what you're doing. Um, Again, make sure you have some form of biological filtration somewhere. Even if it's just some marine pure blocks, those things will do wonders for your tank. Um, so then, I mean, I guess I had talked about uh, rock, but I didn't really specify. Uh, live rock and dry rock will do the same thing over a long enough period of time, given a bacterial seed. Uh, live rock just has that bacteria already in it, but you do have to do more on the, uh, the upfront, uh, unless it's cured already, in which case you're paying a lot more. Um, for uncured live rock, you're also going to be paying quite a bit of money. Uh, for dry rock, there are some downsides as some of it will leach phosphates or if it's poorly made silicates into the water, uh, if it's not real uh, dry rock. Um, but if you go to, I think it's Marcos Rocks is where I got mine. Um, I've had no problems. Um, everyone's online has also had no problems. They've all recommended it. Um, yeah, so... Next, I guess, going into marine pure blocks. I have some of my sump, but even if we were down there, uh, you can't really see them. Um, they just look like big cubes, uh, but they're really porous. They have a ton of holes in them, 
and they have the surface area of like 23,000 square feet in a eight inch by eight inch by four inch block. Um, so that's just crazy surface area for per volume. Um, they also make thinner plates, which are eight inch by eight inch by one inch. And then they also make balls and cubes. I think the cubes come in both two by two and four by four. Um, so no matter how small your tank gets, no matter if it's all in one, um, you could probably find a place to put a marine, marine pier block. I'd recommend it. Uh, Rod or two reef has had, he said his nitrates went up when he put one in. Um, I don't know how that happens. Definitely don't put it in a super high flow area. Um, if water has to be pushed through it, um, game over. Um, but if it's, I mean, it is porous enough where water can be pushed through it. Um, and it will still hold your, your aerobic bacteria, but it won't hold your anaerobic bacteria. Um, and I guess if you get a small enough block, the anaerobic probably won't help either. Anyway, there's no perfect scientific about anaerobic versus aerobic in the, the last part of the nitrogen cycle. Bulk Reef Supply is doing a cool test on it right now. Um, they're still working on results though. Um, they're actually having to do a retest. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna wait until their verdict to, to make a full call on it. Would recommend Deep Sand Bed, Live Rock, and Marine Pier. Um, I, I personally don't see, besides upfront cost, um, there's no, and I guess, I mean, you lose a little bit of your aquarium. Um, there's no massive issues besides those two. Um, you won't like, there's no chemist, water chemistry issues. There's no stability issues. There's no fish, coral, invertebrate issues with those things. Um, the only thing again is cost and, um, volume. Um, like I said, it, like they are only eight inch by eight inch by four inch, um, uh, but they are kind of expensive. Um, and I have three of them in my tank, in the bottom of my tank, which kind of, I could put four technically in that bottom part, but I don't know. Uh, it seems a little overkill right now. Again, they are kind of expensive, so I don't want to drop that much on them. Um, and my, my bio is not that big. Uh, I am overfeeding my fish kind of to keep my bacteria alive, which sounds a little weird. Um, but I want, I want to, uh, get the tank ready for, well, Friday, technically, I guess. So this last month of overfeeding is tech, it's been a good thing. Uh, I've been slowly amping up how much I've, I've fed. Um, I'll probably amp it up a little bit more over this week. Um, yeah, cause I mean, there's gonna be two, from two to four fish in here. It's gonna go from two to four, all the way up to four fish. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be a lot more food. Uh, I'm excited for these fish though. Uh, check back either tomorrow or later today, depending on upload schedule. Uh, and I'll have the updates with my new corals. Um, hopefully I'll be able to fix uh, some of the issues with um, animations and I'll be able to do uh, water or water chemistry. Um, and then, yeah, uh, Friday I'll be adding the new, two new fish. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So hit that like, hit that subscribe, answer a question, ask a question. Um, apparently there's a bell that you can hit, notifies you when I post a new video. So do that. Um, yeah, engineer your aquarium for you. Uh, that's what we're in this hobby for. Uh, don't make it for someone else. It's not their aquarium. Um, engineer your needs into your aquarium and have a good time with it. See you guys around.